It was 62 years ago this week that the Supreme Court outlawed segregation in public schools, but it never went away. A study ordered by Congress found the percentage of high poverty schools with mostly black or Hispanic students has more than doubled since 2000. Michelle Miller went to a district in the Deep South that's been ordered to desegregate. The Mississippi Delta town of Cleveland has been grappling with its segregated past for 50 years, and now its time has run out. In a ruling, a federal judge ordered the district to merge two high schools and two middle schools, saying the delay in desegregation has deprived generations of students of the constitutionally guaranteed right of an integrated education. Jamie Jacks, the school district's attorney, says the order doesn't give the full picture. We have kids learning side by side each other of different races. If you travel to our surrounding communities here, you'll see that doesn't exist, but we have it here. The problem centers around Cleveland's two high schools. Cleveland High is an historically whites-only school and is now evenly split. But Eastside High still has a student body that is virtually 100 percent African American. Students we spoke to fear the impending change. It's this side of the highway versus that side of the highway, and it just, it's been a rival for a long time. Margaret Schwartzfager's kids go to Cleveland High, Reverend Edward Duvall's to Eastside. I think the white are afraid to become uh, a minority and lose control. But I think it's, it's maybe time to rip the Band-Aid off and move forward, I think, as one unified school yeah. where everybody can accelerate. School desegregation protests across the country are part of an ugly past, and the fight continues in the courts. There are currently 177 active school desegregation cases, half in Mississippi and Alabama alone. Deputy Assistant Attorney General Vanita Gupta heads the Justice Department's Civil Rights Division. I do think it's jarring for a lot of people today to know that in fact still too many of our schools remain segregated uh, and that that is something that we need to change. Here the debate is how to make the change. Michelle Miller, CBS News, Cleveland, Mississippi.